Next, we want to look at an intention-based reciprocity model. The idea is to incorporate intention-based reciprocity into an analytical model. And it was first proposed by Rabin in 1993. The basic idea behind intention-based reciprocity is that people like to help those who are helping them and to hurt those who are hurting them. So this is the basic intuition that should now be incorporated into a model. When we think about incorporating this idea into a model, we need to make sure that we cover this kindness. So we need to measure kindness of players. We need to define what a fair payoff is and inter interpret deviations of this fair or equitable outcome as kind or unkind. Importantly, the utilities of the players do not only depend on the absolute size of the, the payoffs, but also on beliefs about the kindness or the kindness perception of the players, which means that we need to apply the concepts of psychological game theory. So we, we cannot rely on the basic game theoretical models. We cannot apply backward induction because now it matters how we got to a certain outcome. And this complicates the analysis extremely. But now let us look how the model looks like. We will slowly introduce the model by rapid. So consider the following setting. We're looking at the utility of player I. And this utility depends on the material payoff and depends on, on kindness, kindness of player I and kindness of player J. We go through it step by step. AI is player I's action. BJ is player J's action or rather player I's belief about player J's action. And finally, CI is player I's belief about player J's belief about player I's action. We are looking at, or Rabin is looking at static two-player normal form games, which means that we do not observe the action of the others, but only have to, we, we decide simultaneously about the um, actions we take. And so we have to, to think in, in terms of beliefs. Okay, so AI is my action. BJ is what I think what the other one is doing. And CI is what I think the other one is thinking that I'm doing. Okay, now let us go through the components of the utility function. My monetary payoff or my expectation about my, my material payoff depends on my own action and what I think the other one is doing. My kindness or my kindness towards the other player depends on my action and what I think the other one is doing. And finally, my belief about the other's kindness towards me depends on my belief about the other's action and my belief about the other's belief about my action. Because only this 
makes it possible to uh, say if, if his action was a nice response to what he believed I will do. The key feature is that utility from reciprocating kind or unkind actions with unkind reactions. So what you can see here is this is my kindness, which can be either positive when my action is kind or negative when it's unkind. And also the, the, the expression for the other one can be either positive or negative, which means that if this is negative, I want to be negative, but if this is positive, I want to be positive as well. So we are Rabin incorporated that I want to return kind actions with kind behavior and unkind actions with unkind behavior. Let us go into more detail. We now want to look at my own kindness. My own kindness is defined as we see here. PJH of BJ is player J's highest payoff when playing BJ. So in order to judge my kindness, we have to see what payoffs are achievable for the other given what I believe he's doing. PJ min of BJ is player J's lowest payoff when playing BJ. So when playing as I expect to play. PJL is player J's lowest Pareto efficient payoff when playing BJ. And finally, PJE is the equitable payoff of player J. So here we just assume that the equitable payoff is given by the average of the highest payoff when playing BJ and the lowest Pareto efficient payoff when playing BJ. One important feature here is that you can see the, the kindness is always between minus one and plus one half. This means if we quickly go back to the function here, the, the, the monetary payoff enters in, in absolute terms, which means if this payoff goes up, this term here or these expressions are always between minus one and, and plus one half. So if the absolute stake size increases, the kindness plays a smaller and smaller role. So far. So this is how kind, this is function tells us how kind my own behavior is. You know, the kindness of the other player is very similar. The only difference when you um, measure the kindness of the other player, the kindness of the other player or my belief about the kindness of the other player does not depend on, on my action and my belief about the other's action, but uh, uh, depends on my belief of the other's action and my belief of the other's belief of my action. All the rest stays the same as here. And we will see it in an application later. 